Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! My name is Draganya Willem Fuzzbottom Jr. and these are some of my patrons. Lit Dragon, Wario Land Go Pyramid, and Ella Enchanted. And a special thanks to my special sponsor, Theo Vellum. Also, this is a Patreon request by Ella Enchanted. Now, as we get this game started up here today, I would like to request that you let me know what you think of today's video. And if for whatever reason you don't like today's video, then please, let me know why. When we last left off, we beat Missions 4 and Missions 5. Because they're totally plural missions, individually. Which means we have beaten all the missions. Technically speaking, there's still the matter of the bonus dungeon, but we'll get to that in a moment. Anyway, I would just like to say that Mission 5, the final boss was ridiculous. But I don't really have to tell you that, do I? Uh, the sad thing is, we're not done with this yet. But don't misunderstand, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, getting through this 100%. It's just that, dang, this is gonna be hard. Just to complete Mission 5, I'm gonna have to find everything in Mission 5 and beat it without dying. That's... that's gonna be hard. Now, I know last time I brought up the possibility of using save states, but I'm not ready to start cheating yet. I'm gonna try to do this legit. And in order to beat Mission 5 without dying legitimately, there's two things that I'm gonna want. One, I'm gonna want the special card that boosts my defense so that I don't die as easily. Two, I'm going to want the card that unlocks the bonus dungeon, which will have even more goodies for me to find. Unfortunately, guess where those two cards are? They're both in Mission 5. I need those cards to make Mission 5 easier to beat, but I need to beat Mission 5 to find them. Ah, uh, really? That's... that's unfortunate. Well, the good news is that Mission 5 has multiple pathways, which is good for a Let's Playing standpoint. It means that my multiple trips through this place are going to be somewhat interesting. The bad news is that those multiple pathways, the two cars that I want are on completely separate pathways. So I'm gonna have to go through and beat this level twice. Apparently you cannot crash into the planes. That is interesting. By the way, the first uh, branching path is interesting. Nobody else is gonna come until I destroy you, huh? You only have two missiles? Alright. In order to get to the first path, I have to let my plane be destroyed. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? What's this? Aww, oh, whatever. I'll be back. Okay, so we're apparently uh, parachuting the whole way here. Let's not get zapped by things then. This is interesting. And I, and I, I cannot alter the speed of my descent. Which is unfortunate. No, well, there is one, one bit of good news. Even if I met a guy along the way, like right now, it doesn't matter if I die along the way. Once I find the card that I want, then I have to avoid dying. Up to that point, it doesn't matter. Ooh, nice. Not so nice. Oh my goodness, those guys with the bazookas are so 
annoying. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and knife at these planes. So, in regards to the whole separation of different paths detail... Basically, Mission 5 is... Hold on a sec, I just remembered that for this game, I need, wanted to turn down the volume a lit, bit. Because this game is a little bit louder than Avatar The Last Airbender. Alright. And not all right. Anyway, as I was saying, in regards to the whole separation pass deal, this mission. Ugh. Hold on a sec. Those guys are so annoying! Even when I'm trying to jump in the water and get revenge on the first guy, another bazooka guy comes and shoots me. Where are you? Come here! Screw you! Oh no you don't. Get rid of you. I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to deal with that. Maybe if I just sit here. Nope, you cannot shoot those uh, missiles down. Oh boy. So, in regards to the whole situation of multiple pathways, this Mission 5 is separated in two halves. You probably noticed this last time when I reached that section where the music was different. That was the start of the second half. I got a fish. Health item. Cool. No, no, no! Who are you? And in fact, we have just now reached the second half. So, that plane section where I let myself crash is basically the first half, where the first branch comes into play. Please don't run into... Screw you. So, had I not crashed the plane, I would have moved on to that one part where I can just fly around, like I did last time. I need to just go for it. Let's see here. Now, no matter which path you take on the first half of the stage, you always wind up in this room. And so begins the second half. Now, the first thing that I'm going to be going after... ...is my armor. The armor happens to be at pretty much almost right at the end of this path. By the way, it's actually interesting how these multiple pathways work. There's actually more than one entrance to the final boss. It actually kind of reminds me a little of Super Mario Bros. 2. I'm slashing at your tires. going to say, you want to start moving there, camera? No? Okay. From here, we want to just keep going up. Yeah, I remember this part. I was here before. But eventually, I took a different path than the one I want.
I really don't like you guys. Just saying. Wasn't there a reason I wanted to hop up here? Now where did you come from? Freaking respawning enemies. Alright. Thruster plus. Not entirely sure what that was. I can't really remember. I don't need to destroy that tank. I'm going up this way. Not there yet. Eventually, I'm going to want to... AP cannon. Not sure what that is. Eventually, I'm going to want to... Uh, shoot out a camera. I feel like I'm almost there. I think it's going to be the next room where that takes place. Yeah, I definitely didn't take this path last week. Up again, and... Flak Jacket. That is my defense boost. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually let myself get killed. I'm actually really curious about something. It's been something I've been wondering for a while, and this is the best opportunity to test it out. Is that... The, what I want to test is whether these cards, like this one up here, take a media effect. Or if they take effect only after you leave the area. I mean, I know the health items take immediate effect. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be counting how many hits it takes for me to go down. Try this again. Now who do I want to see will whether will kill me? Not you. Or maybe it will be you. No, you just eventually run away. Wait, here we go. So that's one hit. I don't want to take hits from you because you might cause a bit of different damage. That's two hits. Want to make sure I can't just backtrack. That's three hits. That's four hits. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my mouse on screen to mark where my fourth hit was. That's five hits, and I'm dead. So, in theory... If this thing does give me a defensive boost right now, that should I should go down in six hits instead of five. And that's one hit. That's two hits. And that's three hits. It's not looking good. And that's four hits. Still five hits. So that defensive boost will not take place until I'm able to beat the stage with it in hand. Wish me luck. Ah, seriously. The respawn rate of enemies is ridiculous. Oh, really? I was really hoping that thing despawn. Now here's what I want to figure out. If I take damage... Oh, I can finish this area with a tank? Now I'm going to go ahead and kill myself again. Because I want to get to the next screen with full health. Oh boy, imagine if I'm able to fight the final boss with a tank. Yes, this is gonna be fun. By the way, there's plenty more tank uh, upgrades somewhere. 
which might be something worth considering if I have too much trouble. Also, let me see here. Nope, I can't backtrack. So if I die here, if I want that card, I gotta start this all over. Okay, what in the holy gosh was that? Oh, great, we get to fight this thing again. Die, 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 die! Oh, I gotta kill you first, don't I? Yeah, this is a good spot. Screw you. I need some stuff for my tank. There's not gonna be anything for my tank. That's a bummer. Oh, we're not even done yet. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was interesting. I am not going to get to keep my tank. Hmm. Oh, this is the last room. I'm fairly certain this is the last room. Well, there's that fish again. Alright, well, I'm not going to be able to quite get in all the damage I want on the boss. In fact, the tank might go down before I get the chance. But I'm gonna try. Oh, I can't even get up there. You think I can beat this guy without dying? Honestly? Not. I don't think so. Tell you what though, that rocket launcher definitely gave me a head start on this fight. Oh boy. Oh, that was a hit I did not need to take. Okay, need to watch these because they can reach me. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Please die. Oh, thank goodness. I did it. I did it. I. Minute, I'm finished the mission with my armor upgrade. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that rocket launcher on the one path. Oh, it is. It definitely got me through that fight. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can skip that. Let us see my special card!
Flak Jacket. Decreases damage to player by 10%. That doesn't sound like much, but it is a defensive boost. And it is the only defensive boost in the game for my character. I mean, oh sure, there's some armor cars for my tanks, which would possibly be helpful depending on whether the other path that I have to take brings along as a tank. And actually, just the fact that I had these two cars probably is what allowed me to take the tank as far as I did. Though it is a shame that I could not use it to damage the boss. But anyway, I got the flak jacket! Huh. <sighs> this is actually possible, in theory. However, I am not done with Mission 5 yet. Next time, I still have to do it again and unlock the bonus dungeon. Oh boy. I'll just, yeah, as you can see, all my patrons down at the bottom, I am ending this now. Because it's actually pretty late in the morning. I stayed up really late last night, despite being too tired to even record this last night, so it's already 11 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I guess I will go ahead and end this here, for the sake of getting this uploaded in a relatively timely manner. Next time... I will go into Mission 5 and do the same thing I just did, but with a higher defense, and we will unlock the bonus dungeon. I'll see you then. Also, I really want to do this. Let's get this, uh, let's see here. Just want to have this because I don't get the opportunity right now to use this very often. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of that. Get the border around it. Bold it up. Okay. There. And I will see you in the next one. Also, before I forget, I should probably save. There. Would have been a little disastrous had I ended this without saving.